Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for the last day of April, April 30th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday was kind of a weird day, wasn't it? Where we whipsawed to the downside. We had these great earnings reports, whipsawed to the downside, and then slowly but surely started to recover on the day, ending up with a new record high in the SPY, but everything else kind of leaving us with a question mark. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, buckle up, Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and happy Friday. I say happy Friday, but I got to tell you, this has been kind of a puzzling and perplexing week for the market. We had all of this data coming our way, and the vast majority, majority of that data came out with what you would expect to be extremely bullish news. We had the FOMC continuing to keep that gas pedal to the floor on um, and, and, and spending like crazy in the bond market. We had um, big tech earnings that just were historic. I mean, zooming past estimates in an unbelievable fashion. And yet the market just could not seem to get going. So we remain in this consolidating zone here in the diamonds. And I gotta be honest, it is a little bit bizarre watching the market gyrate like it is. And unfortunately, I've been hearing from a lot of people that not only has it been a little bit bizarre, but it's been a very punishing market to a lot of folks. If you've been trading pretty heavily um, in this market, expecting this good news to really inspire the market higher, the chop has been beating up a lot of folks and there's been a um, considerable amount of money lost by a lot of folks. It's been a relatively good market for those who just hold a longer term trade in a trending stock Although it's been very, uh, very difficult to do because it requires significant discipline to hold through this, these wild um, whipsaws and swings. And it seems to have been a, a very productive time period for quick and experienced day traders. So we have this mix in this messy market trying to make sense of it. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart and see if we can get some information about how we might want to approach this last trading day of April. First off, if I use this trend here, and I've used that several times showing this, notice that we've kind of drifted past that um, shorter term trend here in the chart. However, if we use a bit longer trend in this chart, notice that we're still okay, but we are still quite a ways away from um, reaching um, that trend. And let's also notice that we have been in a very wide range chop. As a matter of fact, if you measure from this top up here to the bottom of that consolidation in the Dow itself, more than 500 points in that move. Now that's a very wide chop zone. Doesn't look like much on the chart, but that's a very wide chop zone. And I've been warning and talking about the how painful that could be um, as we kind of whips all around. Now, keep in mind that where we are right here, we certainly have that upside opportunity. If we can find that inspiration, we could push on through to the upside and break out. But and, and by the way, all the institutions seem to be just rah, 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 rah. This is going to be a banner quarter and everything's going to be great. But boy, we sure haven't been seeing that. Um, they certainly are not trading that way when it comes to um, institutional activity. As a matter of fact, there just seems to be such a lack of momentum. It is kind of remarkable. Um, kind of flies in the face of everything they've been saying. Well, let's take a look. What if we go the other direction? Well, if we go the other direction, we have some support levels in the diamonds that we could test. And the bigger support level is um, really down here. So that would be 
a very painful sell-off if we happen to move lower. Perhaps we don't do that. Perhaps all we do is just rest and continue this choppy consolidation all the way out here to trend before we find some inspiration to pick a direction. Who knows? But watch that carefully. Let's take a, a look at the SPY. Now, doggone it, the SPY really left us an interesting uh, pattern here yesterday. We, we sold off at one point in the day, we had a bearish engulfing candle. And then in a um, afternoon rally, we pressed and pushed and stressed and, and, and really um, did everything we could to close the, the SPY at a new record high. But it left behind a candle pattern that um, can be a bit of a concern. First, that candle pattern is a candle pattern that's basically a hanging man. Um, a hanging man pattern at a top is a bearish pattern, but it's only bearish if we have a follow through trade or candle to the downside. Now, I don't even think that that follow through candle to the downside is going to be all that meaningful unless it happens to break down below the low yesterday. If a follow through bearish candle just kind of holds in here, I think we're still in consolidation. But if this candle that's forming right now would slip down below here by the end of the day, that could be a major concern for the market and really start to indicate a potential top in the SPY. So watch that closely. Now also keep in mind that if we run a trend here in that chart, that we are a long ways away from that trend and we are a long ways away price wise point wise from a test of this really choppy support level here in the chart so if we were to pull back into here this could be relatively painful and could close out the week um well on a, a pretty sour note if that were to occur let's hope that doesn't happen now let's take a look um underneath that point there's very little price support in this chart. And what that means is if we were to fail through here, if we cannot hold trend, then that possibility that we could sink uh, significantly down here into support levels in the chart. So you don't wanna, I know no one wants to hear that and no one wants to think that there's a possibility of that, but kind of keep that in the back of your mind that that possibility could occur. Maybe we can find enough energy in the earnings reports today to move us through to the upside. But unfortunately, I think we've gotten through the bulk of those um, big market moving earnings reports and we went nowhere. So I'm not sure what that means, but we should be very, very careful and not become complacent or over trade in this market. These whipsaws have been punishing and I don't see any reason that that's going to change in the current price action of these indexes. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the NASDAQ, well, although it rallied nicely off the lows, we had a bearish engulfing candle at one point in time yesterday. We rallied off of those lows, but it certainly didn't leave us with a confident pattern overall in the chart. And with bonds rising again this morning, that could provide just a little bit more pressure in this chart. Notice that the pre-market candle is looking for a lower open. And if um, we were to pull back, we could, catch some price support in here. That might be a little bit of a painful pullback, but watch that closely. And we need to hold that support because if we don't hold that support, that could be a failure of this high over here. And that might mean that we could be swinging to another test of support down in here. So watch that closely. Remember that trend is still quite a ways away and we still have that possibility that we don't fail, that we just chop sideways. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM had a pretty good day yesterday in that rally back, but doggone it, left us with that big uncertainty in this pattern. Notice that we still ended the day in kind of a bearish engulfing pattern uh, with that pop and drop that I suggested could be the possibility yesterday. And take a look, that is a lower high in the market. Now that's not gonna mean anything unless we have a follow through candle that actually breaks down below the low and closes below the low of that candle. If that closes below the low of that candle today, there could be a concern 
of that top. Now let's um, notice that we do have some price support in here as well on that chart. So we could bounce right off of that level. Um, but if that doesn't hold, if we fall through that level, then we would look for something down in here to maybe hold us in that chart. Keep a close eye on that. Um, interesting market day here for sure and for certain. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now it's interesting to me that our VIX actually rallied as we set new record highs in the SPY. That's a concern. Um, as, we're, as we're squeezing out these new record highs, we're seeing our VIX responding to the upside, showing a little bit of concern here. And now that we're getting um, a bearish look at the morning open, probably going to elevate that concern a little more. Remember I've been talking about it's a good sign that we stay underneath this level when we broke that support. But I have been mentioning the possibility that this higher low could be a little bit of concern. I don't think this becomes a major problem unless we break this downtrend. If we break this downtrend, and I think we're going to have to actually break that downtrend and get above this um, resistance level in the chart. If we were to hold above there, that's where the real selling could come in. Can't say that that's going to occur, but we're going to have to really stay on our toes and watch that carefully. Of course, if we can find that inspiration in the market, we could certainly break down and make new lows. But I would think that the big blowout tech earnings should have done that and it didn't so we need to really be focused here on price action and be really really careful anything is possible in this market then let's take a look at our um, t2122 now t2122 continues to tell us that we are in a overbought condition we're in that bearish reversal zone we have pressed and pressed and pressed these p e ratios on these stocks are um, incredibly elevated and we're going to have to deal with that eventually it will that be today tomorrow next month i have no idea but we want to respect the fact that we're up here and elevated in our t2122 and it is suggesting that we are in that bearish reversal zone and that possibility of a pullback could occur at any time so kind of keep an eye on that um, as we progress throughout the day with the market pointing to a lower open this morning could be a little bit of pressure here um, in the market trying to spill off and maybe take some profits heading into the last trading day of the month let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 elevated yesterday but it's kind of interesting that the the momentum just isn't here in the market and it's surprising honestly and puzzling is what I wrote in the morning um, blog this morning it's really puzzling um, looking at the market right now and the fact that with all of this great bullish news we just can't seem to get her going here so we're gonna have to watch this closely in this downtrend still is a concern for me in uh, market breadth. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have some things on here we're gonna wanna pay attention to, though I doubt that they're going to be super duper market moving. Let's take a look. We have um, the employment cost index today, probably not gonna be um, much of interest here. We've got personal incomes and outlays and they're looking for a big boost in personal incomes in the consensus. So watch that. Now, one of the things that I think might be occurring as we're seeing our 10 year and 30 year bonds just continuing to creep up is that these big numbers are starting to worry investors about inflation and the coming inflation that could be around the corner. So uh, think about that. It's possible that if we get a super hot personal income number that could actually have a negative effect on the market. We'll have to watch and see, but watch that closely. And then we've got um, um, Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment. Once again, I don't know that anybody is going to um, get too worried about those numbers today. 
Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar has a fewer stocks on it today. We get a little tiny bit of break and we have quite a few less in those notables, uh, market moving notables uh, to pay attention to. So let's take a look at those. And if you wanna get the full list, make sure and click that link uh, just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch those um, notable reports that I've put in there. Take a look at CHTR. Um, um, Charter Communications will be reporting today. We'll want to watch that. Look, looks like we've had a little back and forth here in that uh, market this morning, uh, pushing up toward these um, highs in the chart, uh, possibly breakout highs. So watch that carefully. Could find enough inspiration to maybe move through there. Um, a BBV is going to be on that list today. Once again, look, wow, kind of interesting. Just kind of chopping around here this morning on that as well. Um, we've got Clorox. Now Clorox has not performed all that well. I was watching this for a potential break, but boy, Clorox um, getting hit pretty hard this morning in that pullback. Um, watch that carefully. Clorox uh, seemingly running into some major problems. We have uh, Colgate Palmolive, however, another consumer defensive going the other direction. That's trying to perk up and move higher here today on its earnings report. Exxon Mobil reporting today. We've got Goodyear Tire reporting today. Um, we've got Granger reporting today. So keep a close eye on these reports um, as we move along. Oh, by the way, Warehouser uh, reporting today. You would think Lumber would have um, just had a blowout result, but we're not seeing um, that reflected in price action this morning on Warehouser. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you guys could do me a favor, if you feel that the video is worthy, click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. Every time someone takes the time to leave a, a comment, it really helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks. And I truly, truly appreciate it. I know it's a hassle, but if you can, if, if you can do that, it really helps a lot and I uh, truly appreciate it. And also just a huge shout out to those folks who the, that are supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee program. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. I'm humbled every day. Um, I, I, and I truly mean that. Uh, thank you so much. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up. And please remember that as I point out some of these stocks with the craziness that we've seen in the market, you're going to have to be kind of careful. And you need to be making sure that you're following your own due diligence in these charts. Don't be following anyone else's recommendations uh, blindly. Focus in on the chart pattern. See if the risk fits you personally before jumping in on those trades. Let's take a look. I've been keeping an eye on Masco here. Now, Masco, um, building has been really, really strong and that potential of an infrastructure bill could help this out. Been keeping a close eye on here. Masco tried to push on through yesterday, but I'm watching this carefully and closely. And I got to tell you guys, um, for me, I'm not much of a buyer on a Friday and I'm more of a profit taker on a Friday than I am a buyer. So although this could trigger today, may not be a trade that I would be willing to take heading into the weekend, but keep a close eye on it. Now, you might also want to keep an eye on um, DoorDash. Now, DoorDash has been setting up in a pretty interesting pattern. It had an ugly selling wave coming into it yesterday. But if we can hold in this support area in here, there is that opportunity that we could push on through. With the bearishness this morning, though, again, I think it's probably a wait and see on that chart. So just keep a close eye on it. Um, you might want to keep an eye on Pfizer. Now, Pfizer's been holding up quite well here um, in this chart, and we've been consolidating over toward trend. I'm watching that closely for a potential move to the upside. Keep a close eye on that if Pfizer can pop on through. Take a look at Lululemon. Now, Lulu 
had a pop through yesterday. I didn't buy it. The options in this chart are, uh, well, they're awful. Um, really wide bid ass spreads in this chart. I don't know what the market makers are trying to prove here. There's plenty of open interest, but they're really widening these things, um, Lulu out. So chose not to take that trade, but I sure like the way this chart is performing here. As that continues to maybe rest or consolidate out here toward the trend, just keep a close eye on it. Lulu looking pretty good overall. You might want to keep an eye on stocks like NKLA. Now, NKLA is not ready for prime time, in my opinion, just yet. We are trying to break this downtrend and prove that we can hold this area as support. But keep a close eye on it. This is one of those um, uh, stocks that has been garnering a lot of attention lately in news reports. So just keep a close eye on that. If that can perk up here, maybe an opportunity to move on higher um, in the chart. Whoa, I don't know what happened here. Hold on, guys. Okay, I think it just had a weird internet blink or something like that that created TC2000 flashing like that. But um, keep a close eye on that. It may also be a good idea to kind of keep an eye on um, NIO. NIO could be an interesting chart to pay attention to. Um, now, it has been pulling back, and you can see pulling back again today. This is reporting um, or reported yesterday, and we are selling off. But this is another one of those um you know electric car manufacturers that broke the downtrend may find some support in here but let's watch that closely something for the list but not ready for prime time just yet keep a close eye on the financials financials have been holding up quite well but i'm beginning to wonder if they haven't uh, maybe overextended themselves here in just uh, just a little bit so watch that carefully still holding up nicely this morning but let's keep an eye on that and energy is another place that you might want to look energy surged this week to the upside and now with any rest or pullback in this energy if we can hold some price support in here there may be some opportunities here in that energy sector. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your, tra uh, your trading. And, you know, as important as anything else, I want to wish you a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. Have a great one. And we'll see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, y'all.